mesmerizing, isn't it? No, not the lighting. There, that one, the painter. Doesn't she look familiar? It's her I want to tell you about. The unique, the creative, the very first painter woman, Jeanne Toussaint. She's about to leave a permanent mark on the Maison Cartier. This is where it all started. Paris, the 1920s, the roaring 20s. Paris then was, and, and this too. A teamy jungle, an effervescent crowd, and among this crowd, a woman whose nickname was the Panther, Jeanne Toussaint. How could you fail to notice her? With her red tata boots and her Chinese silk pyjamas, Jeanne has style, she has taste. Daring taste that shakes up the rules. Actually, this is where it all really started. This office is a little quiet, isn't it? Actually, it's the birthplace of an iconic style, a style whose creations became signatures. Louis Cartier. This is before the Great War. He meets Jeanne, he names her head of creation in 1933 to take over from him. At that time, giving a woman such a position was rather outside the box. Well, actually, it shattered the box. China, Persia, and India influence her style. She takes a bold gamble when she decides to pair yellow gold with vibrantly colored stones. Her hands tie emerald with coral, amethyst with turquoise, snakes and crocodiles, both cultural but full of movement. She creates a new bestiary and with it invents a new style, a taste, the Toussaint taste. 1948, the first sighting of the sculptural ponte on the brooch. The following year, it reappears on a sapphire cabochon. Jeanne knows that the painter will become her trademark, her poor print on history, the mark of proud womanhood. The Toussaint taste spreads like the wind of freedom. Women we lived in yesterday's world, today's and tomorrow's. From Daisy Fellows to Monica Bellucci, from Maria Felix to Annabelle Wallis, the painter is invited to events hosted by the Duchess of Windsor and to the red carpet at the Cannes Festival. Wait. Let's go back in time, one last time. Jan's presence is stronger than ever. Panther skull up inside watches, pounce on bracelets, swing on necklaces. In emerald or spotted in onyx or sapphire, they've traveled through time, never forgetting who invented them. Jan's Panther. Jan, the Panther, the mortal. <laughs>